Hey, you! What's your favorite holiday? Do you like Christmas the most? Or do you prefer Easter? Or maybe St. John's Festival? Anyway, today we are going to discuss about Christmas and its customs. But let me introduce you to what it is. If you look up on the internet, you will find the original definition of Christmas is an annual festival commemorating the birthday of Jesus Christ. Obviously, primarily on December 15, as a religion and cultural celebration among billions of people around the world. However, this holiday, we rather you get gifts totally with you, relations, and keep using your cell phone in the living room. While we train you to the midnight so you can pick out, is a way more interesting and meaningful and then you speak. Diving into the history with no pretensions, we all find that in the beginning Easter was the main holiday and the birth of Jesus was not celebrated. It was only in the first century that the church decided to institutionalize it as Feast of the Nativity. However, the Bible doesn't mention the date, so research inferred that December 25th is a date chosen by the Pope Julius to adopt and absorb the traditions of the Pagan Saturnalia Festival, which was an ancient home festivity in honor of the god Saturn. When in that festival, home enjoyed a hedonistic moment. Food and drink were plentiful and the normal Roman social order was turned upside down. For a month, slaves would become masters. Peasants were in command of the city. Business and schools were closed so that everyone could join in the fun. That's why people say that the Romans were the first to do a Christmas celebration in the year of 336. But we know that it was because the date December 25th marked the winter solstice. In addition, it is 9 months after March 25th, the date of the vernal equinox, and a date connected to the conception of Jesus. Therefore, Christmas was conceived as a light in the darkest days of the winter, and early Christmas linked Jesus to the sun, using the phrase, Son of Righteousness. Through the decades, Christianity walked in a discontinuous line, but Christmas, on the other hand, has become a cultural manifestation, and started to disengage with the idea that this commemoration is strictly Christian. So, since its meaning may vary, people from other religions feel free to contemplate it and enjoy the happiness and grace inside it. And that is the point after all. Of course, we shouldn't be nice only on Christmas month, week or day. However, it's a time to look through each other and do reflections. But, in our current society, the Christmas inner lights have lost some of their power to the massification of life stories and teaching for neutral greediness of many of money and more money. Christmas has also become a commercial holiday where companies sell anything with red clothes and long white bird. While on a vibe, consumers buy as if they were in a competition, and we are not kidding. According to all shops, Christmas sales grew 9.5% in 2019 compared to the previous year. And in the cumulative result for the year, the movement increased 7.5% in the retail mail. Okay, but you must be asking yourself. They told us so much information and I still know nothing about the Christmas values. After all, what is Christmas all about? Sweetie, we unfortunately can give you only one definition, as it's an outcome of a personal background. However, we can help by making you think about it.
Natal pra mim é um feriado muito importante, porque além de ser um feriado favorito, é quando podemos unir todo mundo. Podemos comer em família e trocar presentes, essas coisas. Natal pra mim é uma época muito importante, porque eu lembro de quando eu era criança e eu ia pra casa da minha bisavó e a gente ficava fazendo brincadeiras e a gente jantava junto. Mas hoje em dia não é daquela forma, porque minha família já inteira não mora mais aqui e também tem a pandemia que dificulta muito mais as coisas. Mas é um, uma coisa muito simbólica pra mim, gosto muito do Natal. O Natal pra mim significa a união, não só entre a família e sim entre os amigos. O que importa de verdade é a afeição que sentimos um pelo outro, o que vem do coração, não algo material. O Natal pra mim é como... Quando você bebe água, você está muito tempo com sede. Ou quando você come com fome. Não sei, as coisas parecem ter mais gosto, mais sabor. E muito mais do que receber milhares de presentes caros, é você aproveitar a presença daqueles que estão ali contigo. Eu acho que é um momento no qual nós enchemos nosso regador com a água que irá fazer do seu eu futuro frutífero e próspero. O que eu quero dizer é que eu fico mais sensível, mais solidária para observar o mundo. Eu gosto muito do Natal. É um momento que eu paro, respiro e vejo o que eu fui durante todo o ano, que está acabando. Então, é muito importante. Natal, para mim, é algo como unir a família, unir as esperanças e criar novos momentos para aproveitarmos, principalmente em tempo de pandemia, para fazermos algo em conjunto, nos unir e criar mais fé. Bem, o que é o Natal para mim? O Natal para mim, apesar de todo ano ter um lugar diferente, ter pessoas diferentes, você ganhar um presente diferente, ter comida diferente, sempre tem uma essência. Tem a essência de todo ano alguém se, é, uma, uma família se encontrar e a gente ganhar presente, não só do presente, porque nem tudo se resume a isso, mas só do sentimento de ter sua família reunida, de ter o Natal como uma ferramenta para reunir sua família, eu acho isso muito importante. Então, eu gosto muito do Natal por isso também. Porque une famílias, é, me faz feliz. E now? Are you feeling more comfortable in your presentation? Well, Christmas is a very important date for those who keep up with the Christian calendar because it marks the first year of the history. As we said, our topic is costumes, so we are going to show you some of the main and general ones, but some curiosities as well. Let's go! We'll begin with the basics that everyone presumably knows. First, probably the biggest Christmas symbol along with Santa Claus, the Christmas tree. Most people used to set up on their house with lights, bubbles, tinsel and others. Nowadays, it's more trivial to see artificial trees, but in the United Kingdom, for example, you can see Norwegian spruces inside a people's house. The next point is common among the kids. But if you're a teenager or an adult, alright? Beefing a litter containing your wish list, I mean the gifts you would like to receive from Santa Claus. That represents a North American name for Papai Noel, who is also called Father the Christmas in United Kingdom. Saint Nicholas or Saint Nick, only to its origin or even Creek Kringle in Germany and Austria. After redacting a year on Christmas Eve reads in December 24, it's time to put out a Christmas stocking under the Christmas tree or buy your badge so the Santa Claus can feel you with your gift. Harry and Brazy, we've seen the substance of this, but it's not as strong in the United Kingdom and United States, for example. Related to the Santa and his raiders, children also live a tree by the tree or the fireplace, suck a cook, carrot, chocolate, etc. Seeing that Christmas has religious roots, 
The act of praying is a strong characteristic of it, commonly released between midnight of 24 and 25 of December. Now, the great Christmas meal. It is the most anticipated moment and it comes with a protagonist, the turkey, even though other birds are known of them may be consuming. Following the main dish, we could have roast potatoes, vegetables, crumbs, gingerbread house, panettone and much more. In our country, it's irregular to find salpicão and arroz agrega too. Many people still think about if it's when you say a word Christmas. That's because strange presents was become one of the main manifestations of Christmas. We say because this represents caring and love you feel for the others or because it was become something special. Which is that to Brazil? We have our famous secret friend in which we represent a word a refuge. We want that it is a general to see a Netflix friend. It is case in terms of the reckoning, giving a gift, you are going to steal the best on one day. Opportunities can open the door. It's fun, but it will be frustrating as well. Something to comment is the TV and brand specials, as we can see in commercials, movies, TV programs, and series episodes. Not speaking the notorious carols of joy. Remember when you raise your Christmas tree and put many adornments in it? After 12 days, you have to get it down, or you supposedly have bad luck for the rest of the year. There's not much explanation to that. However, in ancient times, Christmas celebrations used it to last 12 days, because this was the time in which the three wise men, also known as three kings, took to reach the city of Bethlehem and deliver the gifts, gold, frankincense and myrrh, to baby Jesus. Surely, those customs we are mentioned are not practicing in the same way in which corner of the world. There are some location traditions. In Thailand, for example, there is a battlefield which call it Befana. She gives gifts and can to the kids if they behave themselves. If you don't, they will just receive coal. Another interesting fact is that in Japan, his Christmas is not the official holiday and Christianity is not the most followed religion there. A large part of people spend their days normally, with no big commemoration. But at night, they eat Ketuken fried chicken, KFC and Christmas cakes. They generally have strawberries, cream and chocolate as target. Yet, the streets are very well decorated. Thus, the Japanese tradition is more and more relatable commercial impact. Friends of ours, we are mostly coming to the end of presentation, seeing that we will like share a list of synonymous words according to your script and a little game as well. We will put both in WhatsApp group, but if you are eager, the link will be sent in chat and take a screenshot while you have time. 3, 2, 1. What can we conclude then? Well, Christmas has tons of customs and traditions that may vary with the place and the interpretation of each one. Christmas is immensely significant to the Christians as it's a religious moment to reconnect yourself with God. But this is now culture. Therefore, if you're from another religion or if you don't have one, that's not a rock on your path to rejoicing. Because Christmas, above all, it's a time of the year in which you can redirect your compass and try to find your way home. And when we say home, it is where you feel the most comfortable, where you experience peace, serenity and fulfillment. Enjoy the Christmas to analyze the atmosphere you're in it and spread love like Santa Claus does with the gifts. To work harmoniously with your partners, as if each of you were bubbles of the most outstanding Christmas tree. To light the candle with a true self and sparkle through the most unclear contexts. Because the deeper the night, the brighter it shines. So, let it shine. Let it shine. I'm fucking